And so embedded in this, in this artistic uh, creation here are a lot of wonderful details about how that water mo molecule at Spring, at Spring Creek actually, actually got there. Um, some, of the, some of the features that, that are in here is that you have the, um, the sandstone of the Casper. It's like the Casper's 700 feet thick, and about 80% of it is, is sandstone with all that porous space between the sand grains. It stores water. Um, the, the pink are, is the sandstone, and these, these thin layers are the limestone that's only about 20% or so of the, of the formation interspersed amongst the primary sandstone that stores water. And what's nice about this aquifer is that it's a combination of, of water stored in sand grains, but also fractures, horizontal fractures that are really capable not of storing a lot of water, but boy, it can move water very quickly and creates very incredibly productive municipal water supply wells that you guys rely on for water when you turn it on in the kitchen. And these, these um, greenish uh, uh, serpentine features in here represent those fractures where water is really flowing fast and furious through the aquifer. But the water that's in the sandstone that's stored in there is supplying water to those fractures. That, so it's this integrated dance between the porous material sandstone and these fractures that really move water from the top of the range where you have a high elevation to the lower range. So every, all this water is moving from east to west in this direction through this fractured sandstone. And then the, the, the rock at the bottom of the, of the formation that is more towards the top, like where the Lincoln's head is, that has a lot of energy. And that water in this sandstone wants to move up. It's got pressure. And it, so it, it does move through these limestone layers, which really aren't porous like sandstone. But it wants to get through that, that limestone. And there are fractures in the limestone such that water from the lower, the lower uh, uh, snake fractures work its way through those limestones and then it joins the, the next sandstone and then, and then pops up again through the next limestone and eventually gets up to the upper uppermost sandstones. And then you have these, these features in the, in the Sherman granite that go through the granite and also through the Casper formation. And there's, there's some that are very big features that create these vertical conduits where all this water flowing from east to west hits it and pops up, and that's what we have at City Springs. That's what we have at Soldier Springs, the two primary springs that supply water to the city of Laramie. 